Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's starting to get really cold out there. I mean, it is really freezing. That quality is starting to look a little bit off. Why don't we go ahead and fix that? Much better, right? Now look, I get asked this question all the time. How do the Instagram reels that I upload and the videos that I upload look so damn crispy? Well, guess what? Today I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you how to upload high quality videos onto Instagram. Roll the intro. So, first things first, you guys need to know that whatever quality you film in, Instagram is automatically trying to compress your image and file size whenever you upload onto Instagram. The software is trying to make its job easier for itself. Now, that sucks for us artists who really consider video quality to be sacred. So it's really important that whenever you're filming before you upload or anything, you film in 4K or the highest quality possible for you. And you also wanna make sure that the frame rate that you're using is appropriate for whatever project that you're filming and, or whatever speed that you're filming at. Just make sure that it's not over 30 frames per second because Instagram is gonna compress that shit down. Now, step two. This tutorial is for Final Cut Pro 10 users. I'm a Final Cut Pro user myself. I don't really deal with Adobe Premiere Pro or anything like that. If you guys are interested in knowing why I use Final Cut Pro over Adobe, drop a comment below. I might make a YouTube video on it in the future. So step two is obviously open up Final Cut Pro 10 and we're gonna jump into that right now. Okay, so now that we're in Final Cut Pro 10, the first thing you need to decide is that, hey, am I gonna upload an Instagram Reel video or a traditional post video? Now, generally, Instagram likes to drive engagement towards its newer features. So in my opinion, I would recommend really uploading an Instagram Reel and not a traditional video post. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new project. We'll go ahead and call it Reels 1. Now, if you're using Final Cut Pro 10 on the latest version of iOS uh, Big Sur, then you already have the presets built in for vertical video resolutions. But if you're not, what you're gonna wanna do under video resolution is go ahead and hit the drop down menu, go ahead and select custom. Now, if we're making an Instagram Reel, we wanna go ahead and set our resolution to 1080 by 1920. If you wanna do a traditional post, these numbers are going to be 1080 by 1350. You also wanna make sure that your timeline is set to 24 frames per second. What this will do is whatever footage that you drop in, it'll natively render it for 24 frames per second. If you're looking to get the most cinematic footage or the most cinematic look out of your footage, this is really the timeline that you should be working in. Great, now that our project is set up, we can go ahead and start dropping our clips in. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna take whatever clip that you're planning to edit or upload and drop it onto the timeline in Final Cut Pro 10. Now you're gonna notice you have these two massive black bars on the top and bottom of your video. Now, in order to get rid of these bars to make sure that this space gets filled up, you're gonna wanna start slowly scaling up your video until these black bars are covered. Now, this is the downside to uploading onto Instagram, um, reels or even videos, everything is done in a portrait mode, which means that a lot of the times if you're filming horizontally, you're gonna lose out on the edges of the video that you've recorded. So you wanna really keep that stuff in mind when you're recording and be prepared to lose those sides if you're filming horizontally and you wanna upload that video onto Instagram Reels. Now that we have our clip properly scaled, go ahead and apply any length trimmings or any effects, any transitions, any color grading that you wanna apply, that stuff is all subjective. But once you're happy with how your clip is looking, you wanna go ahead and hit file, share, and master file. Now, you wanna pay attention for this part because this is super important. You wanna go into the export settings. You wanna make sure that you're exporting for your computer. You have the best quality selected. 
and you have the correct resolution, which for reels that we mentioned before, it's 1080 by 1920. And once all those settings are dialed in, you wanna go ahead and hit export. Okay, great, so we're almost to the end. Now that you have your file or your high quality video saved onto your computer, we need to get it to our phone without compromising the quality. So ideally you have an iPhone because you're using Final Cut Pro, you're going to be on a MacBook and you can just seamlessly airdrop your files between your MacBook onto your iPhone. Now airdrop allows you to transfer files without compromising the quality whatsoever. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, an alternative is to email the file to yourself, making sure that the quality isn't compromised. And that's it. You've made it to the end. The file is on your phone now. You can upload it whenever, however you want. And if you've made it to the end of this video, let me go ahead and show you what my reel ended up looking like once I finally uploaded it onto Instagram. Check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned something new and hopefully from now on, all your Instagram reels are gonna be looking hella crispy. As always, if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the video. If you'd like to do this again, please subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, until next time, keep creating.